They got me back in the studio. This my year, I just got a bro. Don't sip lean, I ain't got a bro. But I smoke a backwood for sure. I had to cut the little bitch off. She a messy hoe. A fireball on me all dubs. This shit messy, though. I ain't put no hook on this bitch. It's still catchy, though. They pulling over for the police. They gotta catch me, bro. Never ran into my ops. I hope I catch them, though. I ain't been doing none of that goofy rap. This a difference. All right, so ladies and gentlemen. We're back in Cardi season. This man stopped playing Mysterious and finally began his album rollout. So we are locked in, right? Even though it's still a mystery when he's actually gonna drop. But today, I'm actually not gonna talk about the man's music or his musical influence or this rollout or figuring out when he's gonna drop or the promotion he's been doing for the songs he's been dropping. Like, why is there a bald British man yelling at me every time he drops? But instead, I'm gonna talk about his influence outside of music. Y'all know the song about how Scott Pilgrim ruined a generation of women? Well, what Ramona Flowers is for women is what Playboy Cardi is for men. You know, the evolution of Cardi is crazy, right? Like, I remember only a few years ago, back when he was still known as a regular-ass SoundCloud mumble rapper. He was hanging with Uzi and the ASAP Mob, and he looked completely normal. He was rocking all those hype beast brands that were popular at the time. He barely dropped music. It took like three years to drop his tape. But then, something happened. The man started acting and looking different, dressing in darker clothes, and then went full death metal on his rock star shit, wearing the skinny-ass jeans and all, and still barely drops music. Then Cardi started the Opium label, signed a bunch of people that of course have the same exact style as he does, and here we are. To give you a short but sweet explanation that can pretty much sum up this entire video, 2024 Playboy Cardi fans are pretty much 2021 NBA Youngboy fans, except somehow way more obnoxious and way more annoying. Like back on 2021 Prime Twitter, and that's a fact, you understand? But back then, seeing the Youngboy profile pic trolls replying with Youngboy better under every tweet did make you want to delete the app at times but generally it had no effect on you if you fucked with his music but opium fans in the present time make you not only want to hide your enjoyment for the stuff they make and do but also at times make you just simply not want to listen to their music at all but fuck it the music is still enjoyable so the ogs thug it out and just remain closeted opium fans back in 2021 when listening to ken lonely and homicide gang was this cool niche thing like you were the man you were getting hosed left right and center unless you're a redditor if y'all still on there yeah, you're a lost true. cause that's i'm true. afraid yeah. but yeah discovering ken early 2021 and then destroy lonely a little later thanks to twitter was just beautiful man until their shit began blowing up on tiktok and all the bandwagoning commenced now at this point it was nice to see these fresh new artists making a name for themselves and finally getting their well-deserved recognition but damn i couldn't help but not even think but no, that this was gonna be Yeet all over again. Like these TikTok kids were gonna do opium just like they did Yeet. Now, while these rappers haven't gone to as high of a status as Yeet, the opium fan base is just as, actually no, they're way more intolerantly annoying and corny and shamelessly have these rappers meet in their mouths way more than Yeet fans. Oh now, I want to give my own testimony here, right? So last year, when I was in the UK, I visited this city called Bath. Yeah, literally called fucking Bath. Named after the baths built by the Romans in the first century. And it was honestly one of the most unique and beautiful cities I've ever been in, right? The architecture was just aesthetic. <laughs> nah, but the city was a fucking beauty though. And yet, you already know I had to flick up. I saw this one cathedral, well technically it's an abbey, and yeah, flicked up, took some photos of other places there, you know, no problem, right? Then I dropped the pictures on IG, where you should follow me, I'm not gonna lie. And instead of appreciating the architecture, these fucking opium the kids bitch. were in my replies, talking about some, that's so opium, bro wanna be destroyed lonely, like get the fuck off my dick! Okay, and it was daytime too. Like I'd understand if it was night and it was dark as fuck. But god damn, not even during daytime. Like you literally cannot take pictures of you posted up next to any type of gothic building anymore because these rappers from fucking Atlanta, Georgia, unofficially trademarked it. Now their 12-year-old fans will flood your replies with unfunny jokes they stole off of TikTok. And don't get me started on wearing all black. So this kind of shit is what you may call unintentional biting. You're not trying to. 
but you unfortunately end up copying somebody else's style because they simply made it quote unquote mainstream and put a lot of people onto it, which makes you look like a dumbass for choosing to be posted up next to an edgy place in a dark setting wearing all black garments. But there are also way too many people on Instagram that are trying way too hard to be opium. Like the term dick riding does get overused in today's time, but it's perfect for people like this. They're the epitome of knob polishers. Their fit picks are actual T move versions of opium. They got everything down to a T. The stances, the angles, the lighting, the locations. It's pretty much a cosplay. But the crazy thing is, they really think they're fly. They really think they're putting that shit on. When if it wasn't for Destroy Lonely, they would not be wearing that Deftones shirt. They probably wouldn't even know what Deftones is. And best believe, they would not be dressing in all black with those Rick Owens boots and wearing pentagrams around their neck. And you already know they grew up in a Christian household, going to Sunday school and shit. Like bro, I'm telling you, these people think listening to Playboy Cardi is a personality trait. Matter of fact, they make this shit their entire personality. You know, now that I really think about it, rappers during the 90s like Ice Cube, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, you know, just to name a few, they weren't that great of influences on the kids either, right? But the biggest difference between the fans of 90s West Coast gangster rappers and Playboy Cardi fans is that Death Row fans weren't taking pictures of them wearing a jacket from their favorite rapper's music video in the dressing room for TikTok, knowing damn well they can't afford it, and weren't running around finding the lollipop from another music video, and then selling it on eBay. Do you understand now? And the fact that it took the Aiden stream, and this 30 year old man with two kids still going through his twilight phase, wearing a thong. Watch it, boy! Dick in the booty ass, nigga! I knew he was DL. Yo, what is he doing? I don't know, I really don't know. Damn. Or whatever the fuck this shit is. But it's Rick Owens though. Man, shut up! For these knob polishers to finally realize that their favorite rapper is a rapper bait just shows how bad this fan base is. Despite there being many fucked up instances that happened only a year prior. Like, dude, this man got arrested for allegedly choking his pregnant girlfriend and these no fucking chronically profile. online degenerates no. put his mugshot as their profile pictures this whole shit just reminds me of that one boondocks episode where riley starts dressing as that rapper he idolized who was actually a closeted gay guy <laughs> you know since cardi hangs with all these atlanta gangbangers signs these crash outs and gifts them chains and clothes i wonder how these street dudes feel about cardi wearing thongs and dresses and shit because i doubt they're all that progressive but yeah a lot of playboy cardi fans Fans defending his actions and fighting for his honor and reputation with their lives on the internet is honestly just sad. Like they really don't even have a line anymore. They just let anything fly as long as he drops the album. But knowing that opium fans are notoriously the biggest dick garglers in music, not even just hip hop anymore. I'm guessing the concept of line crossing doesn't even exist in their heads anymore, judging by all the displays of utter retardation we've witnessed from that community these past few years. Being an enjoyer of Cardi and the rappers signed to him or heavily affiliated with him is really becoming something I'm ashamed of now. Like if I'm at a lecture and I'm talking to someone and they ask me, hey bro, what rappers do you listen to? I gotta hesitate and consider my options here. Like it's a fucking RPG. Do you understand? Do I say Summers, Autumn, and Can Can, who they probably don't know, and the conversation will end up with me explaining that Yeet used to hang with them, and they'll just assume I'm one of those Yeet, Turban, Tonka, Geeky, Rager kids? Or do I say somebody they'll probably know, like Playboy Cardi, Ken Carson, and Destroy Lonely, and have them look at me sideways for the rest of the lecture? Because your music taste, let's not fuck around here, right? Your music taste pretty much tells somebody everything they need to know. The first thing that'll come to somebody's mind when you tell them you listen to opium would be, oh yeah, this guy's one of those. Yeah. He probably wears all black in his outfit pics, doesn't look at the camera, covers his face. He probably has some weird symbols in his bio. This fucking guy probably monitors his following count. Zero following, looking ass. Oh, Cardi, opium. Yeah, for sure. Yes, yeah, that's, that's cool. In conclusion, these opium clone tryhards are the type of guys to unfollow people just to make sure their follow to follower ratio looks good on Instagram and makes them look clouded. <laughs> That's it.